Let's say you write blogs for a company as part of your job. What if you voluntarily guest blog for a big website to improve your career? Do you own the copyright to those blogs? Hopefully this video will point you in the right direction in under three minutes. You think I can do it? My name is Katrina and I'm from New Media Rights. We're a nonprofit legal clinic that helps consumers, entrepreneurs, and other creative people understand legal issues. If you're an employee with a salary and a desk at an office and all that stuff, then you most likely don't own the copyright to the blogs that you write, especially if you were hired specifically to write blogs for them. If you're a freelancer who works at home on your own time who gets paid per article, you're probably an independent contractor. This means you probably own the blogs you write. But not so fast. You might be under a contract that limits or completely removes your copyright interest to the blog posts you write. Practically, this means that if you signed a contract like this, you couldn't just compile all of your posts into a book one day and sell it without everyone else's permission. Let's assume that you signed an agreement. In order to figure out if you own your posts or not, you should figure out what type of agreement it is. Generally, it's one of three. Number one, it could be an assignment agreement. An assignment agreement usually means you give up all of your rights to the work forever and ever and ever and... Number two, it could be a license agreement. A license agreement limits your rights, but doesn't take them all away. For example, your employer could be allowed to republish your work, but you can publish it in other places. Number three, it could be an employment agreement. An employment agreement dictates the terms of your employment. Sometimes, in addition to telling you all the things you can and can't do while at work, they contain assignment clauses or license clauses that you should look for. Also, if it is a valid employment agreement, that means you're most likely an employee. Therefore, you probably don't own your blogs anyway. This is all a simplification. So if you have a contract in place, you may want to see a lawyer who can figure out just what rights you do have to the work. We can do that for you for free at New Media Rights. But for us to help people like you and keep making these informative videos, we need donations. You can donate on our YouTube channel or at newmediarights.org if you'd like. We'd sure like you to. Happy blogging!